Good afternoon. <clears throat> but we're going to be assessing the need for uh, further tightening that may be appropriate. You, you read the language to return inflation to 2 percent over time, I think. But, I mean, it's, there's a lot of uncertainty between what, what happens, you know, in the next meeting cycle, let alone the next year, let alone the year after that. So it's, uh, it's hard to say exactly what, what happens there, what, what's motivating people. So if it's sort of if it's sort of stubbornly and maybe the high twos, you wouldn't necessarily cut rates. I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not giving you any numerical guidance around that. I'm saying we would we'd be comfortable cutting rates when we're comfortable cutting rates, and that won't be this year, I don't think. I wouldn't use the term optimism about this yet. Market participants were left wanting. Nothing new was revealed. The major question was whether or not the Federal Reserve's series of rate hikes is coming to a conclusion. The most famous tightrope walker in the world crossed Niagara Falls without dying. In the same way, Powell was able to deliver a 50-minute press conference without revealing anything of substance. Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, 1115 in Honolulu, 515 in New York on Wednesday, 26th day of July, 2023, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. To say the Chairman Powell delivered a press conference filled with substance and answers to the most important questions would be a misnomer. He delivered his standard pat answers, which explained very little and skirted almost every issue. The reaction financially was that gold gained about $10, silver gained some ground, the dollar declined, and we had a mixed bag in U.S. equities. Gold, basis most active August, is currently trading at $1,973.80. It was up $4.40 during the day, but that will quickly change to December in four days. The dollar index is currently down 0.31% at 100.78. September silver is currently trading at $25.09. Gold had a couple of dollar gain prior to to the release of the statement and Chairman Powell's press conference and pretty much stayed at that price point during his entire speech. We're looking at the August contract, but realize that in four days we will switch over to December, which is why the trailer we sent out this morning referenced December gold. We recommended buying December gold at $2,002.10 on a limit order with a stop at $1990. Unfortunately, we didn't get any kind of volatility. Our recommendation is that you cancel that limit order as well as the stop. We will also send out a trade alert to confirm that. Traders, I do believe that gold will move higher in the very near future. One of the reasons is that I believe that we will get a round of dollar weakness. We're looking at a dollar daily candlestick chart. You can see a three candle pattern that is simply called a three river evening star. If tomorrow's activity is a long red candle with a lower low and a lower high, that actually creates a sell signal for the dollar. If that happens, I believe it will at least test these recent lows. Finally, traders, I am slightly bearish on the dollar. I am bullish on gold and I am bullish on silver. Even though recently we saw the 50-day moving average cross below the 100-day, that is a bearish signal, but... It is a lagging indicator because we're working with long-term averages. We broke back down recently to about 2450. The first level of major resistance occurs right at this line here. 
which comes in at 2550, which means I believe it could go between 2550 and 2575. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.